Welcome back, my fellow calculus adventurers. So here we have a problem today. Show that x cubed plus x minus one equals zero has at least one solution. And they don't tell you how to do it. They just say show it has at least one solution. This should make you think, like show it has at least one solution, or it might say one root or one zero. This should make you think of the intermediate value theorem. And intermediate value theorem works for continuous functions, and it shows that if you have a function value that is at a certain height and later is at a different height, then between those x values, you hit every single height in between. And oftentimes it's used if you start at a negative height and end at a positive height, then you had to have a height of zero or an x-intercept somewhere in between these x values. That's how it's most often used, but there are many variations. So here we can turn this into an IVT problem. You can have this represent the function. So it says if you're given that f of x is x cubed plus x minus 1, and you're trying to show that this function has an x-intercept somewhere. And in many cases, you're given an interval to work on, and you can plug in each of your endpoints. If you're not given an interval, you can just come up with a simple interval and see if it works, and if it doesn't work, try a different interval. So for instance, you could try the interval zero comma one maybe, and see what happens when you plug in zero and when you plug in one. What do we get for a function height at zero? Well, we get zero cubed plus zero minus one. And if we plug in one, we get one cubed plus one minus one, we get one plus one minus one, and we get one for our answer. Okay, so that actually works. Um, if we started with our, our function height being negative, and we ended up with a positive function height, then because this is a continuous function, by IVT, this function equaled zero somewhere in between here. So what you could say for your final justification, if it asks you to justify your answer and it wants a nice solution with reasoning and theorems, you could say, since f of x is a polynomial, um, it is continuous on all real numbers. So we can apply the intermediate value theorem. And then you would say, since um, our left endpoint, f of zero, was a negative height, so less than zero, and then later our right endpoint height was greater than zero, it was positive one, that means by IVT, there exists a C, usually they call them C, it's an X value, C in the interval zero comma one, such that f of x has a height of exactly zero. Okay, and um, since that was actually the original problem, f of x equaling zero, we just decided to call this f of x for ease of notation and talking about this function. Um, that was actually what they originally asked, show that f of x equals zero somewhere. And we found that f of x had to equal zero between zero and one, and so therefore there's a solution somewhere. So x cubed plus x minus one equals zero um, at least once. 
at least one time. So there are many variations of this and it can get a little tricky when teachers find curveball ways to ask these theorem questions, whether it's mean value theorem or rules theorem or intermediate value theorem. So let me know in the comments down below if there's a particular type of theorem problem that's really tricky or if there's something here that didn't quite make sense. Um, yeah, just leave a comment down below and I look forward to your questions. I can't wait to do some of the questions that you ask. Have a wonderful day. Bye.